Hi guys, I'm Heather and this is Cuz We Can Farms. In this video, we get back to milking the goats. We talk about our feasting club. The ducks have to get moved. We continue to work on the fencing and we finally deal with the wasps. Morning. Here's Kim helping the goats because they needed the top of that tree. <laughs> These guys are spoiled. Well, the babies are eating grain and hay. Sorry about the generator noise in the background. Hashtag off-grid life. Of course, it's only good if you put your feet in it. <laughs> that makes it taste better. Justin? Good morning. Okay, so today I am getting the llama fed. Kim's already taken care of all of the other critters and we are finishing moving stuff out of storage. <laughs> moving stuff out of storage is no joke. <laughs> we actually had to take a break yesterday because physically we were beat. <laughs> so we're getting everything ready to get this shipping container moved pretty soon so that we can get started on that build. But I heard a rumor that Allegra was waiting for me. And I think she gave up. Allegra, come and get it! Okay, I moved her food because the deer were trying to steal out of the bag. And here she is. Good morning. Hi, honey. Are you starving? Do you want your snacks over here? Do something a little different, being super brave. So we are gonna have to rethink this now that we're putting the electric fence right there. Yeah, so I'm really excited about getting the goats over into this section. They've done an amazing job of clearing the brush over there in the area that we have them now, which will eventually be a dog yard. We did make it as a pig pen, but we decided we didn't want the pigs that close. So once this electric fence goes up, we can hopefully pick up the pigs if they're still mine. <laughs> it's been an obnoxious amount of time, and I wouldn't blame them if they'd already sold them but um or changed their mind <laughs> but we can get the the goats in here and the pigs in here and they'll be able to be working on this area and getting it cleared out and i'm excited to see that happen and then it's just a matter of cutting down all the trees and clearing the area and building gardens so that hopefully next year we can have a much bigger garden what do you think allegra do you want some buddies you want some buddies? Oh, I just got stung on the eyebrow. It hurts. Oh, now I got a really crying eye. So if it looks like I'm crying today, it's not because Kim has beaten me. It's because, <laughs> <laughs> it's because I got stung in the freaking eyebrow by a dang wasp. On accident, because I flailed and hit it right in my eyebrow. Oh my lord. Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> okay.
Don't pull. Nope. Pinch. So the first thing you do is you pinch with those, your pointer finger and your thumb, you pinch. Okay. And then you squeeze with the other three. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. City girl, I can't <laughs> do the Loki. <laughs> get it aimed. No, no, this winter's Well, the ducks are in trouble. They apparently like tomato plants. This one's doing good. They can't reach that one. Well, the garden had just recovered from its attack from the deer and now it's being attacked by the ducks. <laughs> I still have a pretty swollen eyeball from being stung and I've actually got a headache and it's coming into my sinuses and stuff so yay! <laughs> Home steady! <laughs> Well, ducks have to go back to a different pen because they're eating the garden. Where you don't want to go to camp. Hi, Quasimodo. This duck has the weirdest back. Yeah. You're all right, baby. You're all right, buddy. Can I say cheese? Cheese. Hold on. Well, I woke up to my eyeball swollen. It feels really weird. It's going to be a slow start to the day. Oh, today is a matching sock day. I have two matching socks. Okay, so the girly girls got to come out and check out the new big area. They're very excited. 
So this one over here is Penelope. This one right here is Kim. Layla. Layla. And this is Chiba. Chiba is who we've been milking and she's been giving us milk. And this is their very first time coming out into the big area. And uh, Allegra left the building. She was like, nope. Elvis has exited the building. <laughs> she did eat her breakfast this morning. And when she saw us coming with the goats, she wanted nothing to do with it. So hopefully these guys will get to meet Allegra and she'll get to start getting used to having the goats out here with her as her little herd. Penelope is very excited. So what we're doing today, number one, recovering from a swollen eye. I woke up with this eye super swollen and it's itchy and it hurts and it's I'm kind of having a little bit of blurry vision in it. How's your how's your bite sting going? It hurts, but it's not as swollen, so it's doing okay. That's good. Kara, did you get stung at all yesterday? No. Oh, she's not in the stinging party then. <laughs> Uh, so what we're doing today is we're going to finish put, putting up the, the second strand of electric wire. These girls are going to get to hang out here with us while we're in here monitoring them. This is, like I said, their very first time being in this pen. And tonight they won't sleep out here. We'll take them back over to the other pen that we've had. But our babies get to be in that uh, smaller pen and hopefully learn the electric fence so that pretty soon they get to come out here during the day also this way all of them get to have fun and just be free yeah and have a huge space yeah and I've mentioned it quite a few times but this area will eventually be turned into hopefully our garden next year um, we've got a few trees in here that we will cut down that will go towards the barn build and we've just got to get this cleared out first so they're going to get on the job get busy with their their work Sheba's dual purpose. She is a gardener slash milk producer. <laughs> uh, but apparently we have five more young Kiko goats coming um, of Carrie's that we will be uh, babysitting throughout the winter. And they will get to come in here and we'll get this area cleared out. And hopefully Allegra likes being a um, guardian to the goats. They, she has been around goats. I had goats before. Um, and sheep and all of those things, but she was never actually the one in charge. Penelope's lying. So we've not turned on our hot fence yet. Penelope, what are you doing? What are you doing? Penelope is definitely the uh, rambunctious one of the two young girls. What's her name again? Layla. Layla, I have such a hard time with that. Layla is very much the temperament of Chiba, who is very sweet. So Kira is gonna add uh, more black ones, push them down. We're gonna scoot the water out. And so we'll have two levels of that. And then I'm gonna start running the second row of hot wire. Hold on, I'm gonna double this up. Corners are hard. <coughs> Did you make sure to pull tight? Yeah. I do not know if it's the proper tool to cut this, so no one quote me on that. Why are you cutting it? No. 
we're going up and back around. Oh, okay. So wrap it around. they So it's lovely. Do a short clip that I can send to Carrie. They're following. Oh. Hi, Penelope. There's Miss Layla and Chiba. Are you rolling? Mm-hmm. All right, you little stinker. Don't eat my watermelon. Because if you eat my watermelon, game over. Game over. Right now, you're cute. But if you're a watermelon eater, you're not cute. You better be paying attention to me. It doesn't look like you're paying attention. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, that one's got attitude. Look at him. Look at him. Just being naughty. Yeah, don't do that. Literally came back to the same spot. Don't do that. I can see that you can do it. Just don't do it. Or you'll have to go for a swim in the big pond. <laughs>
Well, that sucks. Brand new. North 40. Leaking. Okay, we taped it. Woo! It works now! Yay! Tape! And we're having not homemade pizza. Because my eyeball still hurts, y'all. It woke up super swolled. I took a picture. But it's still swollen. I haven't taken like Benadryl or anything, but I have taken Flonase because that's what I have. Um, but whew, it's kicking my butt. But they still like the tea the best. But I don't think you can see, but there are some trapped in there and dead. Ooh. Another thing Kim's been doing is, as you can see, they are drinking our water. Is we're pouring borax on everything that they touch. And apparently they really like this stuff because they're already on it and Kira doesn't even have it hung yet. I would say hang it as fast as you possibly can. <laughs> Without spilling any on you. Yeah, don't because then they'll love you. And you will be showering and washing everything. And then I can also hear Allegra tortling in the background. She's like, what is going on? These crying goats are crazy. <laughs> okay, you guys, they are super attracted to this thing. Wow. So, oh, that was, oh, one landed on me, sorry. Uh, that was four ninety five or something at North 40, and we literally just put it up less than five minutes ago. So the dogs have had to learn what the electric fence is about. So that they'll stay in the yard so that they have a bigger play yard. So far it's working. You guys, this is kind of blowing my mind. Because they are all over that right now. And it's been less than 10 minutes.